My name is Terry Matilski. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at Rutgers University. For many years, I have been interested in the nature of science and how thinking like a scientist can help us in many aspects of our lives. Science is not about what we know. It is about what we don't know. It is not just a bunch of facts that you look up in a textbook. It is a vital interactive process by which we attempt to make sense out of the world around us. This is what I wish to explore and emphasize in this course. From the moment we are born, we instinctively begin to explore and interact with our environment. When we crawled around outside in the dirt as infants, what's the first thing we did? Right, we ate it. Then, when we discovered that cookies were tastier, we began to discriminate. We learned to see patterns and differences in objects and behaviors. And in recognizing patterns and building ideas and theories of how our world works, by testing those theories in our everyday experiences, we are, perhaps unconsciously, exploring the essence of what it is to do science. In this course, Analyzing the Universe, we will examine some of the astounding discoveries that science, mostly astronomy, has made in the past decades. We will think like scientists, recognizing patterns and developing theories from them about how the world behaves. In so doing, we will encounter some very surprising relationships and some quite bizarre conditions that exist in remote corners of the universe. For instance, what does an elephant have to do with this strange object? Astonishingly, the power behind this cosmic X-ray source is an incredible star whose material is so dense that if you were able to scoop up just one thimbleful of its contents, it would weigh as much as six million full-sized African elephants. How we learn this is a fascinating saga that we will explore in this course. It began almost a thousand years ago in 1054 when a star exploded, eventually becoming the Crab Nebula. With the help of modern satellite telescopes that are sensitive to light energies that our eyes can't even detect, we can see it still seething in the 21st century. And what does a lighthouse have to do with these types of stellar remnants? We have discovered that the central engines which provide their light energy are stars no bigger than Manhattan Island, which spin around like a lighthouse, sometimes up to almost 1,000 rotations per second. Can you picture that? Manhattan Island whipping around almost 1,000 times a second? We can model how these objects form through explosions we call supernovae. What's even more exciting is that by using internet tools, we can download actual data from NASA's satellite telescopes and examine these phenomena firsthand. We can do real science and look at the same data that scientists do every day. We won't use a textbook to tell us what to think. We will be the explorers finding the patterns. We won't take anybody's word for it. We'll do it ourselves. All you need for this course is a sense of wonder and curiosity about the world we inhabit and a desire to look for and make sense of patterns you find in the world around you. If this sounds appealing, then I welcome you to Analyzing the Universe.